<sighs> hey -o, welcome back, I hope. Been really busy over the last month now between networking and finding a job after graduating. Actually, fun fact, I released my sleep video during graduation, and yes, I did walk away from grad photos so I could promote it. But ignoring that, there's some important stuff that I really want to talk about. Over the last year, my content has shifted a lot from where it once was, and with that change comes a lot of growth and making a lot of new friends. Some videos captured this idea better than others, such as the dance, the sleep, and the gym videos, which tended to really capture an audience, and I guess putting myself in an unfamiliar situation and trying something brand new to me really helped towards this idea. And I'm more than happy about it, as while these projects did take a lot longer to make, these are easily some of my favorites by far. But why? Well, virtual reality is typically showcased as one of two tools, something for entertainment, or something for education, and it feels like not a lot of people show off the in-between. And because of this, I never really knew what cool stuff people were learning and engaging with in VR. As some of my earlier videos demonstrated, I was very surface level with things making Black Cat, Great Pug, and minigame world content. Maybe it was because of who I was watching at the time, but at that point, it felt like there was no great way to engage with cooler experiences outside of that because there's no highlights of anything like that unless you really went digging for it. When I attended my first club on accident and heard of some of the things that actually happened below the surface, I was a bit starstruck about the idea. There's no way people actually work out, dance, do improv, professionally paint, make movies, practice voice acting, psychological therapy. Okay, okay. Point is, I was surprised at how many things you could actually do here, and the best part is, is that some of them have real world impact. Sure, some gaming research suggests that it improves aspects of your life like hand-eye coordination and whatnot, but it's different to not only have actual proof, but be able to showcase these ideas to an audience. Even already, I've done several projects with this idea in mind, without even realizing it. I've learned how to exercise in VR, I've learned how to dance in VR, I've looked into niche VR games and the development that goes into it, along with my previous video where I slept in VR. Take a sip every time I say VR and you're gonna have a free trip in an ambulance. Let's say you were struggling with performing a skill in real life. Let's go with uh, improv comedy, for example. Well, experiences in VR chat have many communities dedicated to not only performing improv, but also practicing the basic concepts of what it is and how it can be utilized. And then after that, there's shows where you can put on your improv work for an audience to enjoy. Or as an already documented example on my channel as is right now, dancing. I didn't know how to do it at all. Buy some full body tracking, no. and he can learn how to dance in VR chat. No, no. I started with something simple, which was the VR dancing community. They mainly keep it simple by allowing people to just chill out and dance together in front of a giant mirror. Then, if you want to take it more seriously, there are opportunities such as the Virtual Reality Dance Academy. They're all about taking things to the next level with classes dedicated to specific types of dances, some of which even become choreos and eventually can lead to you performing these in front of an audience. These three tiers of introduction, refinement, and performance are a great way to approach these types of topics, and something I really want to immerse myself in. Also, keep an eye out for that improv example, since that's something I really want to cover in the next few months. And with that point said, while I think it's fine for me to just talk about the communities making a change, not just in virtual reality, but reality itself, let's hear from some of the people themselves. You might actually end up recognizing these people sooner or later. What real-world impact have people had from participating in your community? Definitely being more out of their comfort zone. Yeah, we actually have a ton of real-world impact that we've seen. Two th things that come to mind off the top of my head. The one thing is we have some artists here who, by selling their work here at The Pair, have been able to pay for their groceries. A lot of people are within their comfort zone and improv kind of pushes that boundary and putting them out of the comfort zone, go out, try new stuff, be more open. Of course, participating in fitness leads to losing weight or achieving fitness goals or better mental health in general, as well as kind of creating an overall sense of community. The other thing is uh, we have artists here. They, they sort of fell out of making artwork. They sort of lost their inspiration to make art. And so uh, they, they come to the pair and they see other people uh, thriving and they decide, you know what, I'm going to start making art again. And on a whim, they'll submit something. Th this has happened multiple times. And they'll come to me afterward and say, hey, the strange pair helped me enjoy making art again. It even impacted one of our um, team leads 
which has they even got a promotion in in their field just because of um, how much improv has uh, impacted their life. About that, they were able to take forms of improv and build it into the into that, and this is how Switch made their give their their promotion. See a lot of times that members always come together, and it kind of creates kind of like the safe community that everybody kind of comes to. And we've seen some really great growth and just like mental health bounds as well as like fitness goals and being healthier in general. Right. Perfect. That's that's all I needed. That that it's just that. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I love the quick ones. These are just some of the really interesting experiences that I want to go through and document my experience in the near future. And yeah, I didn't know these existed a year ago. Help, some of them I only found about pretty recently, but it's super cool to see what real world impact people can do for others, even from across the globe. I'll be trying out these, along with a bunch of others' experiences, some not even just by myself, but with friends seen in previous videos. I really want to provide as much insight and opinion as I can on these type of projects to really show the impacts they can provide to someone that's brand new. I don't want to drag this out too long, but before I get into all these crazy concepts, I do have a list of things I need to do. Not a small list, mind you, a list of 54 tasks all provided by people appearing in previous videos, along with a few appearing in the next project afterwards, which may take a bit to complete, so I promise it'll be worth it, and it'll feel like the ultimate showcase of every era from what I've been doing on this platform. But that's all I can really say on this topic, you'll have to stick around for more details on everything I discussed today. But if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all the stuff that people tell you to do, and I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Alright.